and welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. I believe I still can't really do anything other than uh, whatever Bonnie wants me to do, so... That is what I will do. Now, like in... I believe Grand Theft Auto did the same thing. It's been a long time since I played actual Grand Theft Auto. You can only do certain missions at certain times of the day, and this would apply here. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from it. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale. And by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. So basically, this is just the ro horse riding tutorial. Um, the game will be explaining how to. On the count of three. Explaining how three, to ride the horse properly. Two, one, go! I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. I do like the conveniently placed uh, bait essential fires on the road. Yeah. What are you doing back there? Are you saving the best for last? Now the dialogue through here. Oh, there's you a like boar to there. Down? For some reason I thought. Ooh, yikes! I thought oh. boars only appeared See in you the. At the finish line. I thought boars only really appeared at the uh, tall trees area. Oh. I'll wait for you to catch up. The dialogue here is different depending on who's winning the race and by how much of a degree. I bet you're degree. starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. I would be much further ahead if I wasn't bad at this game. I just want to point that out. And I forget if the game actually said this or not. It probably did, and I just didn't notice it. But horses move much faster if you actually stay on the road. And whenever you speed up, Go. the horse stamina decreases a lot slower. Uh, oh shit, I'm way off the course. Whoa. Oh boy. Come on! Come on, boy! You still think you're gonna win this, don't you? Now, I think you can actually try to sabotage the race by shooting the Let's horse, go. and if you do, you fail the mission. That's actually the only way you can fail. Losing the race doesn't really do anything other than, as I said, give you different dialogue. I'm not going to go and show that off.
And there we go. I won the race. I'm surprised there's not horse races in this game. It's like a uh That was fun. An activity you sure. can do. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. So let's see. Yeah, just you can visit some stores. Uh, Alright, still nothing to do but uh, helping Bonnie out in her. In her. Uh, oh, wait, I could go to the Marshal. Oh, I'll talk to Bonnie since that leads to Armadillo. Any this mission will lead to Armadillo anyway. With her oh, chores. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I can do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Take the driver's seat. Come on. So the controls here are basically the It'll same, except you can't get bucked you off by your horses. A days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's really Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Okay. Driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Mr. Farley. I really do. <laughs> and if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. I like how I, on at least two occasions there, I ran, ran into other, uh, other riders on the road and knocked people off their horses, but there's no you repercussions for that. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. You kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. Now, I could have ended this a long time ago, but I kind of want to hear it. Here, I kind of wanted to hear the dialogue between Bonnie and John. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. The most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. 
first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. So we're going to do that. Excellent to see you today. And I forget how much medicine costs back then. Or, uh, when it's not free. As you can see here, chewing tobacco is $35. And that was back in 1911 when, uh, the price of the value of a dollar was significantly higher than it is now. And by significantly higher, I mean like maybe 30 times the amount? I actually don't know offhand. Well, I'd have to look at a calculator. Inflation calculator. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. So yeah, stagecoaches, also known as this game's fast travel. Which I'm not going to do that. And I have... I can, uh, I can play, I think I could play, uh, poker if I had the money to, but I don't, so, oh well, I can't really do anything. And, yeah, there it's talking about, uh, properties that you can buy. The houses on the mini-map will turn from blue to green when you have them purchased. Not really, not really anything to note here. So let's go help the marshal, shall we? Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. <laughs> you that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot them, mister. Shoot them. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you? Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go on Friday. Oh, hardy fucking whore. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. 
hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks that live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Well. Come on, then, Marston. Follow me. Oh, they talk about... Talk about law enforcement, eh? Won't bother to get someone in the next county. No, actually, it's because he's scared, obviously. It, it, by his admission... At least. Road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Even though there wouldn't, you, know, you think there wouldn't be more out there, Marshal? while we got the chance. Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Jola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. So, so basically, Marshal Johnson here is so stupid or cowardly that he couldn't Looks have like thought to do this himself. Let's hold up a minute and which, find a spot for our horses. Which, you know, all we're doing is yeah. following him. Or following the criminal. He couldn't have done that himself? Or gotten his deputy to do that? Looks like we got company, boys! Although, to be fair, this is... Realistically, this would be a horrible, uh, Take cover. horrible area to be fighting for We're law enforcement, since it would it would literally be an uphill Marshall, battle. Move up to that wagon. Get in there. There we go. Headshot. And we're just gonna loot everybody. That's what you do. Back when I actually played this properly, I got pretty... I would like to say I got fairly decent at shooting people in the head. Uh-oh. Shut 
shut the fuck up. Marshall, I shot him right in the head. Ah. Ooh, that was close. Although, realistically, I think John would be pretty close to dead. Don't you check in with me next time you're Again. I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. So I'm not going to do too much fast travel. I could set up a campfire and do fast travel, but I'm not going to do that. Because if I... If I fast travel, I miss out on potential, uh... Potential activities I could do with other other people in the wilderness. And yeah, they're talking about your honor system, the honor system in this game. And let's see. I will take. I will ride my horse though. There is an achievement in this game for. Yeah, which I'm not doing that. Uh, I will set up a waypoint, even though, there we go, I get, I get peculiar when it comes to selecting the thing exactly. Um, realistically, I wouldn't have a map either, but I don't care. Well, I might have a map, but I wouldn't have a radar like this. Oh, like right here. Oh no, I failed to save him. Oh well, at least I can loot his body. Oh wait, I was supposed to do that for the treasure map, and then... Oh yeah. And then, then comes this place where I have to find the... find the treasure. I think when I did this back in the day... I think when I did this back in the day, I looked up half of them. I hated... I hate trying to find stuff like this, but I'll try and find it legitimately. And I'm still trying to not use Deadeye unless I have to. Oh, five finger fillet. I'll show that off and I'll show off poker if I can. So I don't know if I can actually do do this right, since you have to be fairly quick at this. Uh, we'll get the full ten dollars. Sure. So yeah, it's sh here. It's showing you what you have to do, and you got to do it quick. So it's A B A Y A B A Y A B. Once it gets difficult enough, it becomes damn near impossible unless you're perfect. You just kind of have to... I guess the best way to explain how fast you have to be is... You just gotta hit the buttons and not think. Ah, oh, shit. And I fucked up. Like that. 
I've been looking at my controller the whole time I did that the second time around. There ain't no point in proceeding if you're not going to wager. Fifteen. I once saw a man cut his own pecker off trying a variation on this amusement. And how the hell did he do that? Not bad. Looks like you're gonna have to get faster, my friend. Please don't try this at home. I'm a trained professional. Fun fact, there was an episode of The Simpsons where Homer was doing this, we were trying to do this with quick. himself. For no reason other than he felt like playing Five Finger Filet on Marge's table with himself. And he did not hit the table, he kept hitting his own hands. And I think he did it with a letter opener and not a proper knife. Uh, we'll do... Now we'll do $60. I probably should have bet $2 less. Okay, so I gotta do two cycles of that. Oh yeah, and you can't go too slow, because if you go too slow, you also lose. The whole goal of this is to do it perfectly and do it faster than he can. That's the best you got. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, fuck. One, two, three, four, five. 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 There we go. <sighs> it's good to count if you can. Well... Obviously, you can count if you're playing this. Oh, hey! Hannon, you just run away from me for no reason. So now I have enough to purchase this property. And here's another condition I'll be doing. I'll explain this once I start the poker game. I'm gonna try making as much money as possible just from poker. Really? Now, I'm not... This isn't going to be like a no... Okay, I'm not going to skip... I'm not going to go through the help because this is uh, Texas Hold'em. Look up... If you don't know how to play Texas Hold'em, look it up. I'm going to try to make most of my money with... Uh, With Texas Hold'em and nothing else. I'm looking a little hog -tied. I mean, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna loot any bodies or sell any animal hides or anything like that. I'm not gonna be doing that. But, like I said, I'll probably be grinding most of my uh, money through this just for something different. Man, nobody has anything other than a pair of kings. So he won because he had an ace. Basically an ace-high pair of kings. I'll just raise a little bit. 
Sure. How about I make things interesting? I'll call that. Oh, yikes. That's really bad. No, thanks. Okay. Uh, we'll just fold. Unless you want to start working for Pepper Guts, we'll keep Johns as far as possible from the governor's mansion. Really? I'm in. Oh, come on. You will? Let's see if I can win one hand, though. Holy shit, the, uh, the, my luck is really bad. I'm folding this one, too. And I'm also going to not reload saves if I lose. Though I will be fine with cheating whenever I get the option to cheat. This might work. Actually, I should probably shouldn't be raising. Okay. That's probably too high a bet. But, oh well. Oh shit, they might have a straight. They need a... 7? 7 or a 5? Or 7 and a 6? Or a 7 and a... Jack. Oh, fuck it. I have a... Oh, you all... Okay, well, you can't have a flush. May as well go all in and see what we got. And then he folds! He bet all that money and then he folded. Okay. Hey, good for me. Alright, at this point I can just go all in and continuously win, I think. Yeah, I, here I can just win through attrition. I'm gonna skip this. Pair of tens, pair of threes. Up. Oh. Goodbye. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Yep. You lost twenty-five bucks. Right. Now, normally you would never play the way I'm playing. I'm just playing to speed a speed up the process. Uh oh, that might I might be losing here. Well, I got two pair. Aces and sixes. Good. Aces. Fuck, I lost. <clears throat> aces and sixes, aces and nines, and... Aces and kings. Well, he saved himself from dying. Five jack seven. Five jack seven. Ugh, gug. Oh, come on, really? I guess I'll call. Please fold. Yes! Hopefully I can actually knock that guy out of the game. I'm just going to skip this. Oh, of course not. Ace high spade flush. The 
and I'll raise you. I'm all in for this one. All right, this is the last hand, no matter what. And I think I lost again. Pair of fives. Uh, okay, well, yeah, I definitely lost this. Okay, give me a five. Give me a five or an ace. All right, well, I lost. Oh, I did win with a pair of fours. Since I had ace high. I think I had three king. Okay, now they're not even calling. You get the idea. So basically, you, the amount of money you win is the number of chips you have times 10. And on this note, the poker went longer than I would have wanted it to, but oh well. Oh yeah, the elegant suit. I'll definitely be investing in that anytime I play poker. Oh, and also there'll be stuff in order to unlock more costumes. I will I will uh I'll be doing everything I need to do to get these. So, yeah. And on that note, I will see you guys next time. Farewell.